everybody welcome to my channel my name is Darnell I'm with Shoemaker Art and today I'm going to put some alcohol inks on this bowling pin so this bowling pin when I get them they're in pretty rough shape I sand them down I wipe them down with acetone and then I spray them with Zinsers 123 primer and even at that point you still have a lot of little nicks I mean it's used you're repurposing this so it's it's not perfect but for the project that I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a wood grain look on this bowling pin and you know I think these little nicks will make it look uh, kind of interesting so we'll see what happens and go from there so the alcohol ink of choice that I like to use on almost all my wood grain is ginger and it's by Ranger it's a really really rich color and it, I think it looks the best I have used uh, I think it's caramel and that's kind of nice too it's got more of a yellow look to it and then this here is just a chip brush that I use over and over again um, it works really good for this all right so let's get started when I'm doing my tumblers cover the entirety of your surface with the alcohol ink and then you can go back in and do your detail after that you can just move your wet alcohol ink where you want it to get like the lines that wood naturally offers. I'll tackle that top last. If a certain area doesn't turn out the way you want, just put more more ink on it. Work it till you like it. Look how these little nicks, they look like nicks in the wood. I was hoping that was the way it would turn out. I got a little bit of area here I didn't get the first time. This takes a lot of ink to do this. some areas that are really really dark so we got some so you have your contrast
love it. All right, so I'm not sure you're gonna be able to see this if I set this up. It's probably gonna be very close to the camera. Let's try this. Looks pretty good. So I do want to make sure that the bottom part is covered. I hope we got a little bit right there. that looks pretty darn good yeah, okay so I'm gonna let this dry for 24 hours and then I'm gonna put a quick coat of resin on it to set it if you use a spray coat sometimes it turns it green and I don't want to take that chance so I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry tonight and then I'll get some resin on it tomorrow I'll be back so the next step is to put on a speed dry epoxy and I got mr. Nola's glitter speed dry epoxy part a and part b it's one to one ratio i'm going to mix this up and i'm going to move fast because this cures i think within 15 minutes i got my protection gear so i'm going to be putting that on and i won't be talking anymore for, the, for this part So this here is a vinyl sheet that I ordered from Gracefully Created CCD. It's uh, Cherry Blossoms and it's under the Creator Collections, Brittany Barnes. And this is such a beautiful print and they have um, nice precise lines. You can cut them out really, really easy. So I thought these flowers would look good cascading up the side of the bowling pin. So I'm going to work on cutting these flowers out. Okay, so for the next step, I've got my flowers all cut out. I got a little piece of the backing trimmed away so that I can stick it on the bowling pin easier and hopefully get it leveled out without any bubbles. These were the butterflies that I used, um, Butterfly Nature Series. Got them off of Amazon. Use that. All right, so I think I'm going to start right here because I don't want to cover this up. I like this. So we're going to start here and work our way up and around. We'll start with a little guy. And then here, cut a piece of the backing away so it'd be easy to pull up. We're gonna stick this part on and do what's called the hinge method.
let's basically have a palette knife here. I'm just rubbing it down. And there were a few little creases, and I'm just pushing them out. Looks really good. Okay, so move on to the next one. So there I just cut a couple little slices so that it would uh, lay down. It needed a little more room to be able to bend there. Oh my goodness, this is looking amazing. Oh. Um, all right, so what we got left here is one flower and three butterflies. So I'm just going to look around and see exactly where I want to put it. So I have all the decals on now. I think it looks amazing. Oh, love it. So the next step is to spray it with um, sealer so that um, I don't get a reaction with the resin, but seal this up and then give it a good coat of resin and then, then this beauty will be all finished. So I'll be back at the end to show you the uh, final results. Okay guys, so here it is finished. Came out pretty cool. I love them flowers cascading up the side like that. And the little butterflies just add a nice little touch. I just think overall it's beautiful. What do you think?